Circle Vocabulary Radius A radius is a line from the center of the circle to the perimeter of a circle, or I like to think of it as halfway across the circle. Diameter Diameter is a line segment that goes through the center of the circle and whose endpoints lie on the circle. So it will be a line segment that goes all the way across the circle. And the diameter is always twice as big as the radius. So the radius goes halfway across the circle, and the diameter goes all the way across the circle. Pie. And we're not talking about the pie that you eat, unfortunately. But rather, we're talking about mathematical pie. And pie is an irrational number, which means it continues on forever without a pattern. So if you were to search up the number pi, you would find 3.14159265358989. Ugh. And I'm not going to keep going on and on. Instead of using this long irrational number, we're going to use the number 3.14. Circumference of a circle. Circumference of a circle is the distance around a circle. So if I was to draw a circle, circumference would be the distance around it. The formula for circumference of a circle is c is equal to pi d, which means circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. In order to find the circumference, we're going to follow three steps. Step one is to write the formula for circumference of a circle, and the formula is c equals pi times d. Step two is to substitute the diameter for d. So if we were to look at this circle, we can see that the diameter is 3. So I can replace the d with the number 3. And then finally, step 3. Substitute 3.14 for pi and multiply. So we will replace the pi symbol with the number 3.14. And 3.14 times 3 is equal to 9.42. So the circumference of this circle would be 9.42 centimeters. Example number two. Step one, write the formula for circumference of a circle. And the formula is C equals pi times D. Step two, substitute the diameter for D. If we look at this circle, I'm hoping you're recognizing that they give us the radius. And the radius is five. But remember, diameter is all the way across the circle, and is twice as big as the radius. So we can find the diameter by multiplying that 5 by 2, which gives us our diameter of 10. Step 3. Substitute 3.14 for pi and multiply. So we will replace that pi symbol with the number 3.14. and 3.14 times 10 is equal to 31.4. So the circumference of this circle will be 31.4 millimeters. Now I have two more problems I want you to try. Find the circumference of the circles below using the formula c equals pi times d. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. The circumference for number one is 12.56 inches, and the circumference for number two is 62.8 millimeters. If you had either of these incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review your work, and see if you can find your mistake. Thank you for watching.